Let's make sure we have everything. You got the bong? Check. Got that weed for the bong? Check. All right. You got the uh, E for when the weed ain't strong enough? Check. You got that flask full of tequila so when we come down from the E it's like super chill? Check. All right. I think we got everything we need. Let's go on cool. over. All right. Let me just tell my roommate that we're leaving. <sighs> hey, Chris. What's up? Oh, well, you know, we're, we're heading out. Oh, tight. I didn't know you guys were going to Coachella. <laughs> Coachella? Oh, no, we're going to the Bernie Sanders rally downtown. <laughs> Tonight on TMI, Katy Perry gets more property, Megan Fox gets more pregnant, and Hardcore Henry gets more hardcore. All that and special guest, Joe Newberger, tonight on TMI. Where's Joe? I don't know. Jesus, Joe, making us wait like this? He really has gone Hollywood already. You betcha. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry guys, listen, I, I, I kind of have this pre-show ritual that, you know, I, I, I learned from Dame Judi Dench. You know Judi Dench? It's Dame Judi Dench, okay? Dame. Sorry. You know Dame Judi Dench? I, I, actually, I, I don't. I, I just saw this documentary about her and it, or, 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 or was it Harrison Ford? Maybe it was Tilda Swinton. Hmm. No, it was David Boat. I, I get them all so mixed up. Any, a, anyway, you guys got some stories for me? Oh, yeah. Katy Perry won a legal decision that will allow her to buy a convent in Los Feliz. <laughs> she wants to live in a convent? How unconventional that kind of worked. Kind of a story. Get out. Okay, bye. Get out. <laughs> also, in a recent report, ISIS apparently came out with three new Android apps that broadcast their propaganda-based radio station. Oh. Wait, ISIS has a radio station? Yeah, I guess. Does Ryan Seacrest have a show on it? I doubt it, Caroline. Well, then where can I buy it? <laughs> <laughs> Dear, dinner will be ready in 15 minutes. Oh, that's, you know what, it's no rush. I still gotta look over this contract for tomorrow. Hal, what did I say about bringing work home with you? You need some free time, too. <sighs> Honey, look, it's a small contract. I will be done with it by the time dinner's on the table. Okay? You better be done. All right, I will be. I will. I will. ISIS Radio again? Yeah, it's the best. The best? Dad, look, we know what you're going to say. And yes, there is a lot of hateful speech and death to America stuff on there, but they also play the biggest hits. Yeah, and a lot of those deep cut tracks that traditional radio just overlooks. Uh, see, that's what I'm telling you. Everyone can play Cool for the Summer by Demi Lovato, but Wildfire right now? No one is playing this jam! Except Isis. Okay, fine. Just can you please keep it down? Your dad's trying to finish up some work here. All right. Okay? All right. Yeah, that's ISIS news on the 20. You know, for a savage organization hell-bent on destroying our way of life, they're pretty meticulous about news breaks. Oh, Jenny, could you please go and see who that is? Dad, these two suited men want to talk to you. There's only one man, ma'am. 
Especially when they have jumper cables attached to their balls. I, jumper, I don't understand what that means. What? A car battery and some jumper cables can be very persuasive when people don't want to give up information. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very good stuff. Gentlemen! <laughs> people, mm -hmm. I, I, I am not affiliated with ISIS. <laughs> And then you're going to tell me that the Kardashians were not sent here by Hamas to destroy the youth of our country with their giant, big, juicy rum shakers they have. I, I don't understand what you're... Wait a minute, where, where, where are you guys from? Are you from the FBI? I don't understand. No, sir, we're with the Cruz campaign. And President Cruz is going to take all you ISIS sympathizers and make you go bye-bye. Bye, 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 bye. No, I don't. I just, it's not, it's a radio app. The, the kids listen to it. It has all the latest hits, you know. I, well, what hit is this, you sick son of a bitch? I, I, I don't know. I bet it's called Jihad Party, isn't it? I don't know what it's called. Hal, why is this man grabbing onto you? I'm a man, ma'am. A what? Yeah. What's it like, um, sleeping with a jihadi family? It's no, it's no jihadi, it's just Hal. Hal, is there something that I need to know? Well, the wife is always the last one to find I, out. Yeah, one minute he's living in mineral bliss, mm -hmm. you know, all wrapped up in your little burqa. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't Next thing you know, they're picking the rest of your body off of the side of a building two miles away from a goddamn explosion. Yeah, I think, you know, they call I, it I, pink oh, smoke. Oh, pink oh, smoke. Oh, what? What? Kids! <laughs> Kids, can you just come in here and, and tell them about the radio app with the deep cuts and all the hits? You, you know? I think we should just go finish our homework. Yeah, it's a little distracting down here. You what, sir? Do you know what it's like to have a bamboo shoot up your pee hole, you sick bastard? <laughs> nah. Uh, seriously, it is just a radio app. Oh. I have never heard this beaver track on the radio before. Kenny? No, not me either. Like, everybody's playing, like, stop and love yourself, but not this one. That's, that's what I've been trying to tell you, fellow people. People, uh, the ISIS radio app is not just a tool for terror and fear. It's also a pretty good way to hear all the tracks that nobody else on radio is playing. Hmm. So is it free? I would imagine so. Why would ISIS charge for it? It's probably true. Uh, okay. Honey? Yeah, hey, can you cancel that serious account? I think I found a better option for us. Well, I think our job is done here. Sharon, I'm craving a fresco. What you got in the fridge? Oh, I might be Because it ain't you to up your world. He gave you direction. Showed you how to read a map. But I long. Sisters, thank you so much for meeting with me today. I'm really hoping we can settle this real estate deal. Yes. It has been my teenage dream to own this place. Yes, well, Katy Perry, you must understand we do have some concerns about you purchasing our convent. Well, and this convent has not only been our home, it's been our sanctuary, our protection from the outside world. Yes, every morning we awake at dawn, we pray, we wash, we pray, we take a walk, we pray, we eat bread, we pray. If we're feeling up to it, we might then pray, then we will take another walk, then we will pray again, and then maybe sometimes we'll pray, and if we're really feeling up for it, then we'll pray right before bed, and then we pray. <laughs> Did we mention there's prayer? There's a lot of prayer. <laughs> Sisters, I totally understand your need for prayer. I, you know, am really hoping that God will be able to hear you roar. Mm. Oh, no, ow. That simply will not do. No, we're going to have none of that. No. So, then, what do you want? Well, we would like to live with you. Mm -hmm. Live with me? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we're tired of praying. We've had enough praying. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, no, we really, we want to party, okay? We've lived in Los Angeles for 20 years and we've never been victimized by Andy Dick. <laughs> we want to know the enthusiastic thrill of a coke-filled orgy at Corey Feldman's house! Sisters, sisters, no! You're supposed to be pure as newly fallen snow. Oh, well, 
well, we're about as pure as the tap water in Flint. <laughs> you might have kissed a girl, mm -hmm. but we've done a hell of a lot more than oh, that. <laughs> you must help us. You please, you must help us. We really want to get in on the TMZ action. Hmm. We are tired of bread. We want to go to Nobu. Fish, fish, fish. Uh, excuse me, Katie. Is everything going on? Oh. Okay in here? Yes, <gasps> honey, it's fine. Uh, sisters, this is my boyfriend. It's Orlando Bloom! Orlando! <laughs> you have such strong arms that God has blessed you with. And a heavenly, heavenly being. Ow! <laughs> sisters, sisters, can we get back to our negotiations? Sure. I'm gonna go wait in the car. Peter Jackson should be calling me any minute. <laughs> Oh, we're so sorry, Katie. Yeah. It's just, we haven't seen a man here in a very long time. <laughs> Forever, actually. <laughs> Sisters, I understand. Mm. Orlando is irresistible. Mm. Just last night, he had me calling out God's name. <laughs> well, then we have something else in common. <laughs> <laughs> But on the real real, okay? You wouldn't mind if I made a move on that Russell Brand. Ooh, he is like a sexy Jesus. Oh, yes, we would make our own communion, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> also that. Stop that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's for letting that one get away. Mm -hmm. Sisters, are you sure you want to give up your life with God to party? I mean, it gets old. <laughs> you know what else gets old? Praying. And eating stale bread. Hmm. But do you know what? I know of something else that's hard that I like to eat. <laughs> oh! Hey! hey oh! What the? No, you didn't! Yes, I did! <laughs> okay, 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 sisters, sisters. You can live with me on one condition. Well, name it. Every morning when you get up, I want you to pray that Taylor Swift gets eaten by a bear. Oh, we already do that. <laughs> yes, I mean, if that girl gets one more hit album, oh, I'm converting to Scientology. That is me! So you guys got any more stories for me? Yes, we do, Joe. The action sci-fi film Hardcore Henry was released. Um, people are calling it the first first-person shooter film, and it was released with mixed reviews and so-so box office way behind Melissa McCarthy's The Boss. Mm. They should listen to Melissa, man. The worse her movies are, the better they do. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of worse, Megan Fox is pregnant again with another Brian Austin Green baby, despite the fact that they're getting divorced. They're like the couple version of the Hangover movies. They just don't know when to stop. Just. The Hallmark Channel presents a faith-based classic. It's The Jesus Story, starring Megan Fox as Mary and Owen Wilson as Joseph. I'm so excited about us having a son, except for, you know, we, we didn't ever do the whole man-woman thing. Yeah, you're not the father, Joseph. Sorry. Yes, this is true. The boy Jesus is my son. Wow! God? Is that you? God is the father of our son? That's no. fantastic. No, no. Wow! No, neither of you are the father. Okay, the real father is Brian Austin Green. What up? Brian Austin Green in the house. I mean, manger. <laughs> You're so funny. Let's do it. Mary, what have you done? You were supposed to carry my child, the Savior. Yeah, sorry, bro. Um, I tried to tell her it was over, and then she hit me up in my tent, all late night status, and like, you know, one thing led to a mother. You get it. <laughs> I gotta say, this is really, really upsetting. I, I, I should have listened to the wise men. He warned me about that guy. You and me both, brother. You and me both. It's the Jesus story, starring Megan Fox. It's the timeless story of Jesus, except Megan Fox insists that Brian Austin Green be in every scene. Jesus, don't do it. We can help you escape. <laughs> I'll create a diversion, you know? I'll throw lots with the guards, and then I'll, like, fake a seizure. No, stepdad, this is something I must do for all of God's children. Hey, what's up, buddy? Nice crown of thorns. Super metal. <sighs> Hi, dad. Brian, you were supposed to sign the divorce papers. I have been waiting for what theologians say it was approximately 33 years. Um, 
I do have the divorce papers. In my pants. <laughs> Mom! Could you stop having sex with Brian Austin Green right in front of me? I mean, it's literally gonna be the last thing I see before I die. Wow, you guys are still married? I mean, that is just like, wow. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't even know what she sees in him. It doesn't make any franking sense. <laughs> the Jesus Story. During filming, Megan Fox was in her trailer having sex with Brian Austin Green literally 99% of the time. Jesus, my baby boy, you have risen. Yes, it is I, Jesus, and I have returned. It is wild, isn't it? This is just wild. He's such a character. Yes. Wow. And I've come back to teach my mother a lesson. Jesus, tell me what that lesson is. If I can die, and then three days later come back to life, surely you can stop having sex with Brian Austin Green. I'm just saying. Here, here. I'm just saying. Here, here. I'm just saying. My son, my son, you were infinitely wise, but Mama has needs. Oh, there's my hot little virgin ex-wife. Wait, you mean? I gave the divorce papers to Pontius Pilate. We're divorced? Oh my God, let's do it. Oh my gosh. Mom, I just, Brian Austin Green, right here, for Christ's sake. I like that, write that down, I like that. I'm sorry, Jesus, I'm really sorry. What could be, what could be worse than this, is my question. You know, I don't know. <laughs> the Jesus Story, as told by Megan Fox, who's still horny for Brian Austin Green, coming soon to the Hallmark Channel. TMI presents a reenactment of Hardcore Henry by a writer who neither saw the movie or knows much more about it than the title. <sighs> where, where am I? Henry, relax. You're okay. You're in our lab. You were injured in battle and lost several limbs and suffered a traumatic brain injury. But don't worry. We fixed you. We replaced your limbs with robotic ones and replaced your brain with porn star Ron Jeremy's. Apparently he didn't need it. Great. Now get those jugs over here and let's do some TFing. Hardcore Henry, a new breed of hero who really, really likes to do it. Uh, Henry! Henry, they're after us! We gotta get you out of here, man! Before the mercenaries get in! But how? They're on the other side of the door! I don't know! This situation reminds me of a film I shot with Seymour Butts, entitled Behind the Sphinct Door. Wait, really? What did you do, Henry? Well, go get some lube and quite a few towels. I'll show you. Okay. What do you need me to do? Estelle, I need you to act exactly as if you've never had anal sex before. But I never have had anal sex before. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Jimmy, hurry up with that lube. Hardcore Henry doles out vengeance one inch at a time. Hang in there, buddy. You're gonna make it. Ron's got you. I don't know, Henry. I think this is the last rodeo. Hey, don't talk like that. Hey, hey, think about all the good times we had on the set of Depraved Fantasy Fours. You remember it. Me and you, we were DPing Taja Ray, and she was all, somebody better kiss me for this. No, no, I don't. No. What about that time on the set of Jurassic Cock 2? <laughs> You remember when the director said, hey, the state wants us to use rubbers, and you were like, nah, man, rubbers go on the tires, not the engine. <laughs> I, I don't think that was me. <laughs> yeah, we laughed, and we laughed. <laughs> and then we did it with no rubbers, just like we like to do. <sighs> Henry, I do agree with you. It's always better with no rubbers. Goodbye. <sighs> Henry, I think I found a way out. Estelle, I'm sorry. Jimmy's dead. We can't DP you now. I don't want to be DP'd. I want to stay alive. Wait, I got up an idea. Let me Bluetooth my good buddy Lexington Steele. I'll go get the lube again. Hardcore Henry, where the action just keeps coming and coming and coming again. All from a first person POV, which has actually been in porn for years. Don't act like you don't know. Henry, I, I think we escaped. Great. Where are we? Chatsworth. You know, the valley. Yes, I know it well. Not so fast, hedgehog. Yeah, did you think you could escape without si 
hitting on our faces. No, I did not. Estelle? I'll go get the lube again. Hardcore Henry, coming! Oh, soon. So any last stories, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Huntsman Winter's War comes out later on this week in theaters, and it's the sequel to Snow White and the Huntsman. Uh, I'm sorry, so they made a sequel to a movie that nobody went to see? Whoa, 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 whoa. I saw Snow White and the Huntsman, and it was awesome. They had dwarves and like these epic action sequences. And you and thought that Charlize Theron was going to get naked, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I, it, it was PG. Okay, well, another story is that in an interview this week, Dr. Stephen Hawking was asked what it feels like to be a pop culture icon, but he said that he won't feel like a true pop icon until he gets to be on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Wait, 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 Kim Kardashian? Stephen Hawking? <laughs> Guys, what's that I smell? A new series on E! Oh, uh, Joe. All right, come on, what else you got? Uh, well, rumors have it that former Speaker of the House, Dennis Hassard, was, mm -hmm. uh, would watch boys on his wrestling team shower. Yeah, yeah. and also in that same report, Andy Richter from Conan, also, like, went on Twitter and confirmed the prosecutor's claims that he actually did watch those kids in high school. Wait, 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 guys, come on. Doesn't every high school wrestling coach watch his team shower? Come on, the Hallmark Channel is proud to bring you Secrets and Showers, the Dennis Hastert story. It was 1981. We had just won the state wrestling championship, and I was watching the team shower. Man, they were super sweaty that day. All right now, boys, make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies. I don't want to send you home to your mama's dirty. Coach Hassard. Oh, Hassard. Uh, <laughs> just wanted to congratulate you on the big win, huh? Oh. <laughs> Day champs, that's, uh, that's something. Yeah, well, thank you, Principal Bernard. You know, why don't you uh, pull up, uh, have a seat here, watch the boys shower. I find it very relaxing. Listen, Coach, uh, I hate to say this, but we're gonna have to let you go. You're fired. Oh, dang. Is it because I watched the wrestling team shower after practice? Oh, no, you know, you're state champs. Come on. <laughs> right. No, no, it's, uh, it's just that your ideas are just too big for this tiny school. See, what you need to do mm. is you need to venture into politics. Mm. Head on down to Washington, D.C., mm. where you'll find some real dicks. You're right, Principal. I've outgrown these dicks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, except for that new burger kid. <laughs> hey, principal, hey, coach. Hey. hey, listen, I was thinking, um, me and my youthful high school hair are mm. like extra greasy. Can I take a second mm. shower? Uh, uh yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> the principal was right, and soon after that, I pursued a career in politics in search of bigger and better dicks. Still, I was gonna miss that new burger kid. And this is the congressional gym where all the congressmen come to shower. Mm. You know, I bet there's nothing like working up your good, nice lather after doing all that Congress stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so can you fill the bus? Oh, yeah, hey, hey, congressman. Yeah. Yeah. This is Ooh. Congressman Hastart. He's new in the town. Hey, nice to meet you, congressman. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you. I right. see the congressman's base wasted no time showing you the gym where we all shower. Ooh. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Now, not only is this a great place to shower down, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but aside from all the dicks, yeah? There's no Obama. <laughs> <laughs> That's not to say we congressmen don't reach across the aisle on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Right. You make me cry. Yeah. Uh, hey, it is yeah. nice to meet you. Hopefully we'll shower again soon, congressman. I assure you we will, congressman. Oh, such a firm I thought it couldn't get any better than watching the wrestling team shower, but I was wrong. I saw more dicks in Congress than I thought possible. And I passed some laws as well. Fellow members of the House, this bill will provide school lunches to all inner city underprivileged children. But, 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 hey, quiet. This bill will also have a ban on shorts in the congressional gym so that we can all watch the congressional men shower their dicks. How about that? Yeah! All in favor? Yeah! All right. Now, let's go hit the showers. Last one in is a rotten egg. I had a remarkable career. 
but eventually the Democrats took over the House, and then John Boehner showed up, and I knew I'd been truly outdicked. Congressman? Yeah. Sorry to see you go. Oh. I'm really going to miss watching the other congressman shower with you. I know the feeling. It's okay. These dicks are in good hands with John Boehner. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, Coach. How's it going? Oh. Oh, Congressman Newberger. Welcome to Congress, son. Hey. I, uh... I think you should go enjoy yourself a shower. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get all deep in those nooks and crannies. Mm. You do that, kid. Woo! Uh, uh, he's got a bright Woo. future, that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Proud to be oh, an American. Oh, my God, Denny, who was that guy? He's got a fantastic dick. Yeah. <laughs> he does indeed. That's uh, Congressman Newberger. He's taken over my seat. Mm. I have a feeling you guys are gonna be very close friends. Um. <laughs> Yeah! After leaving Congress, I took a position at the lobbying firm of Dick Steen Shapiro. That's not made up. They beat out competing offers from Schlangberg Babcock and Dingaling Buttafuoco. Okay, those are made up, but I would gladly work at either of them. The end. From me, the network that brought you shit even Bravo didn't want, comes the next in a series of decisions network executives will live with the rest of their lives. It's Kim and Steven go cray cray in VA. So Dr. Steve and I went to my favorite club in Virginia Beach. Everything was fine until I wanted to go to the VIP area. Come on, Dr. Steve, the VIP area is right over there. Stop calling me Dr. Steve, you idiot. I was in college for eight years so that I could get the respect to be called Dr. Hawking. College for eight years? Who's calling home the idiot? I'm calling you an idiot. You idiot. Let's go! The VIP area is right up there! Up there? Is it handicap accessible? What? Does it have a ramp or elevator? I don't know, but it has like waitresses and bouncers and stuff and... I think I see Kevin Hart. I swear, if you didn't have that fat ass, there would be a bounty on your head. <laughs> Going to the beach with Dr. Steve was drama with a capital D. Maybe we should just like rock it back and forth or something. You know, it'd be like totally much easier if you just got up, cuz. I'm a paraplegic for Christ's sake. And before you ask, it's paralegals that work with lawyers, not paraplegics, you human defect. Wait, did you just say you were a lawyer? God, I wish the Zika virus would get here quicker. Yo, yo, Kim, can you tell C-3PO here to take a chill pill? Chill, Dr. Steve. How can I chill, you Armenian slut? I'm stuck in a sand trap while you and the cast of Jersey Shore watch me get sunstroke. Although we have some differences, I still try to remain positive that Dr. Steve and I could have a good time. Hey, if I could be married to Chris Humphreys for seven weeks, I could make this work. Sorry about that sunburn on your legs. It's okay, I can't feel it. You know, you don't look as cheap as you usually do, Kim. Uh, wow, a compliment from Dr. Steve? I bought this dress for tonight. It's very nice and not at all horrid. I am starting to understand why so many men have pleasured themselves to the video of you and Brandy's brother doing it. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Steve. Call me Steven. Okay, Steven. Hey, why don't you come a little closer? I have a personal theory of everything I'd like to show you. Actually, you'd have to show it to yourself since my hands are about as useful as your mother's dignity. <laughs> are you coming on to me, Dr. Steven? You know that I'm a married woman. Married Schmerit. I have a better chance of tap dancing than you have of seeing your fifth wedding anniversary, you strumpet. Oh my god, I love it when you use words I don't understand. Waiter check please. Well, things got a little cray cray after that. Good morning, Dr. Steve. Chloe, what the hell are you doing here? Uh, well, Kim and I did a little thing that we like to call taking advantage of a guy in a wheelchair in the dark. I did it with you, last night. All night long, baby. No wonder it smelled like three-day-old leftovers and Lamar Odom's frustration in here. 
Next time on E's, Kim and Steven go cray cray in the end. No, 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 Lamar, I said stop. I'm with Dr. Steve now. You can't be old lady. You can't Seriously, bro, you can have her. I may not have any feeling in my legs, but my soul still feels pain. <laughs> That's on the next Kim and Steven go cray cray in the end. Universal Pictures presents a movie that will leave you speechless. Oh, kind sir, I am looking for a famed warrior to help save my people against the evil queen. I believe his name is the Kerr. The Kerr. The... The Huntsman! I am the warrior you seek. Oh. I have defeated evil and ravished vagina throughout this land. Allow me to demonstrate on you. Oh, I don't think we have enough time for that. <laughs> There's always enough time to hit that clam box, and no one can hit it better than the Huntsman. Ew. Here is the fame warrior I told you about. And what is his name? Oh God. The car. The car. The Kuntsman! Yes, I have come to crush evil like I crush pussy. Allow me to demonstrate on your vagoo. I shall engorge myself on your tampon tunnel. No, 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 stop. Stop. We want you to crush evil and not the other thing, okay? So you don't want me to count the change in your meat wallet? Ew. Okay, it's just, now I know, now I know. The New York Times says the cunt, uh, uh, the cunt, damn it! I can't even say it! Who thought this was a good idea? I, the cuntsman, shall defeat you and banish evil from this kingdom, and with your consent, tap that ass like a Canadian looking for maple syrup! You will never defeat me! Wait, I'm sorry, what's your name again? The Cuntsman! No, seriously, what's your name? Cunt! No! No. No? No. Rolling Stone says Charlize Theron and Emily Blunt. 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 Damn it! I can't even say that because of this fucking movie! I pound evil as well as pound the shit out of your misty crevice. It seems that there are two evildoers to defeat. I might as well call upon my sidekick. Sidekick? Finger blast. Come here. Oh. Yes, Master Cutsman! Jesus. <laughs> Finger blast. We're gonna have to double team on this one, all right? Yes, Master, yes! Yes, we shall defeat these two oh. agents of evil, and then we shall stick our straws of justice into their juice box as if they were two pairs yeah. of Capri Sun. Oh. Yes, Master! <laughs> That's it. I'm leaving. You and douche. And to sum up, L. The finger blast he can L. Go. One down, one to go. Finger blast. Let us high five over this evil witch like an Eiffel Tower. And then we can hit her like the moisty monkey mouse. Uh, uh, um, we're going to hit her. We're going to get some. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Okay. All right, I've always wanted to have a threesome. Then <laughs> let me get my meat stick of yes, you. Sir. Wait, what? Please. Do. You want, you want? Yes, yes, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come oh, on. Uh, well. Finger blast, you got this, it's all you. Actually, he's never done it. What? With the woman, he's a virgin. What? Oh, hold on, I've seen one a couple of times. Are you? In a book. Freaking kidding me? No, you get me book. all hot and bothered and moist and ready 
and then you can't even, you can't even perform. Where's my sister? Where's my sister? Perhaps she has a Playtex glove. I'll finger blast myself. That is a close family. It seems that evil has finally been thwarted by our giant steely sword. <laughs> the Cuntsman. Hard to say, even harder to love. In theaters, Friday. Crazy glue. For TMI, I'm Jesse James. Good night! Yeah. 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 Yeah.